Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, this is a Love Connection reading. So you have to have a connection of some kind with a person. So they actually have to know who you are. You don't necessarily have to be a couple. You could be dating. You could just have a kind of a mutual liking towards each other. But they definitely have to know who you are. So if you are single and not really like committed to anybody, I do also offer a singles reading. So please feel free to check that out also. And you can find the links to all your readings in the description box below. The links to your general readings and your love readings are down there, as well as uh, a lot of other information, um, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift. All that information is below, so please feel free to check that out. So, Leo, welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you're having a great New Year. So let's see what's going on with Leo and love at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So, again, if you want to watch uh, past videos or readings, then feel free to browse the channel. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Leo, is get a sign, element, or planet and see how that affects you. So we got Pluto. So Pluto here, I believe, is um, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. If not, that is totally fine. We have 22 here, which is all about unity, people coming together. Um, and if you add that together, that's four. And four is about stability, foundation. And Pluto energy is about life and death, rebirth, birth, sex, power, control, like all those like basic, basic things of life. So see how that plays into your reading, if it does at all. It could be that you're just dealing with a Scorpio. I don't know. We'll see. So what I'm going to do with this deck here, at Leo, is we're going to pull in overall energy, uh, connection energy between you and your person and see what's going on. And then I'm gonna pull one for each of you, you and your person, um, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And then we'll clarify all of it with tarot. We'll get more clarity on that and then we'll get the actual situation, advice for the connection, possible outcome. And then we'll pull some um, closing messages with that deck. So what is the current love connection energy between Leo and their person? Wow, at this time. So that one went flying. So we have give back six. So six is six is about equal give and take, reciprocity and balance. So it could be that somebody needs to give back a little bit more in this connection. Maybe it's been a little one-sided and there needs to be equality, equal give and take, reciprocity. Hmm, okay needs to be uh, built on a more of a firmer foundation with that Pluto uh, energy, which is 22. So let's see. So what I'm gonna do, Leo, is I'm gonna put you on this side, your person on that side, but if any time throughout this reading, you feel like the energies need to be switched, then please do that throughout this reading. Flip, flop, switch the en energies any time, anywhere you see fit, only take what resonates, throw away the rest as, you know, Every little thing may not resonate or it may not even be your reading. So please don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So let's see. I've got two here. Okay. So Leo, do you first. Ruminate, which is 18, which is 9. So 9 is almost at the be, uh, ending of something. And then would be 10 and ending, 1 a new beginning. So ruminate. Um, that could be, you know... Could be a couple of things. Could be you taking on other people's energy and kind of like absorbing too much of other people's energy and then being in the same energy as those around you. And it could be good or bad, or it could be you being in your own energy and uh, ruminating your energy outward to other people and having like the opposite effect. So however that resonates for you. And then on this side over here, we have receive healing one, which is a new beginning. So this side over here needs healing. So I just want to read a little bit on 18 Ruminate, just so we get, oops, wrong, wrong book. So we get a little more, um, 
So let's see. Negative thinking can manifest in harmful self-talk or viewing yourself disprovingly. You may be doing this without being aware of it. It can be done through self-deprecating um, humor that invites others to laugh at your expense. So it's basically whatever energy you put out, you can affect people and people can affect you with their energy. So, I mean, you may want to try to get into a higher vibration so you can ruminate that energy out to your person um, kind of energy, like send, send them healing energy so they can receive that healing energy, that high vibrational energy. So this can get into the energy of equal give and ta take and reciprocity and be on a firmer foundation. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have 10 control, which is 10 is ending. One is a new beginning. So somebody I feel like is trying to control their energy, how they're feeling, trying to suppress uh, their true feelings um, kind of energy. When they really need to be more in tune, in touch with their energy, their, um, their needs. And maybe that is that receive healing. So that Pluto energy can be like that rebirth so they can have a rebirth in life, like a new lease on life. So it could be you or your person here. So let's clarify with the tarot here. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for all your support with the channel, all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you. Um, if you've reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, sent a gift, um, commented, whatever you've done to support me in the channel, I truly, 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 truly do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So let's get some energy here for you, Leo. On this, wow, okay. <laughs> So over here on, we can say on your side, Leo, we do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like, I feel like you know who you are and you could be in that high vibration of knowing your self-value, your worth, um, being stable and grounded. Seven of Pentacles is like you invested in this, you invested in this person. You're just kind of waiting for that, like give back kind of energy. Like you invested, you're waiting, you're assessing. You know, what's going to happen here? Am I going to get the um, equal reciprocity back from this person? You know they're healing. I feel like you know they're healing and they need healing. Maybe this person does want you to ruminate in a high energy to send them healing vibrations so they can uh, heal. But I feel like somebody is definitely trying to control something here. Wow, we got the King of Pentacles, so we got a <laughs> divine couple here and the hangman. So, wow, your person could be delaying their healing by, and I had said that, by controlling, suppressing how they truly feel, saying they're fine when they're not. Um, you know, like I said, it could be that negative self-talk also. I feel like you see they're facing each other and they got the Seven of Pentacles in between. So it's like waiting. So you're, so this energy is like waiting and this energy is like waiting. So it's like you're in the same energy. Wow. I feel like you're ruminating out to this person, trying to send them healing, positive affirmations, vibrations, healing energy, you know, but I feel like something could be them uh, really trying to suppress and control, trying to control how they feel, you know, not dealing with what they need to heal. You know, that hangman just kind of like not taking action, pause, a break, you know. But the hangman definitely does usually see things in a new perspective, becomes enlightened, and then they get up and take action, and they untie themselves from this hanging pose. So they could be just observing right now kind of energy, but I don't know. Let's see what the actual situation is for you, Leo. Wow. So now we got the page of pentacles. So... Okay, so it was re, um, not reverse, it's sideways. So this is a challenge. So it's like, you know it's a challenge for this person to come in with uh, solid communication, with um, a solid offer. No, definitely no, it's a challenge for them. Page of Rod Side, two pages here. So you're definitely waiting for communication from this person, definitely. 
waiting for good news, waiting for that fiery, passionate communication of a solid offer, but it's definitely, you know, it's a challenge for this person. Ten of Cups, wow. That is a mutual energy. So you both want the Ten of Cups with each other. Happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Everything positive with the Ten of Cups. So, okay, so let's see. Wheel of Fortune. So definitely Wheel of Fortune coming in here and the moon. Wow, so they're unsure of what to do. <laughs> they're hanging upside down and they're on a pause, on a break, in limbo, not sure what to do with the moon energy. Like they don't know how to send you this communication that they want this Ten of Cups. They definitely want things to move forward in a more uh, balanced direction. They definitely, um, this is fate, destiny, divine timing. Things going in a better direction. The universe stepping in here to move this forward. But yet they're trying to enlighten them in that hangman position. But yet they're still kind of confused with the moon energy. Like they can't really see clear, clearly on how to get the Ten of Cups with you to send out the good news, a passionate, fiery communication, and a solid offer. They're just... The universe is trying to help them move them along, but yet they're still stuck in that stagnant, hanging man pose and kind of stuck in the mud in that moon energy. Oh, okay. So I think they're trying to control this whole thing. They're trying to control the Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to control... The destiny and the timing and the fate they're trying to control it but the universe is stronger than that so the universe is going to move this along and they know that but they are kind of still stuck in darkness and in the mud here and they know that the ten of cups is eventually going to happen between the two of you it's right in the middle of the spread here so let's get more let's get some advice for this connection so we have here the Queen of Swords, and that's a divine energy sitting right on the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Queen of Swords is air energy, but I always take it also as divine energy stepping in, shedding light and truth and clarity on a situation, and it's right on the Wheel of Fortune, which is divine fate, destiny here. Two soulmates here looking at each other, but they're in the shadow. They're not, like, you can't see their faces, so they're still kind of in the shadow about each other, just waiting, waiting. But they both want the Ten of Cups. Both want the Ten of Cups. But, so the Knight of Rods here is taking that fight. Like, you want them to take this fiery, passionate action forward towards you. Now, this is the advice for the connection. But people are feeling left out in the cold, lonely, hurt, you know, abandoned. So it could be your energy or your person, how it resonates for you. But the advice here is that even though people feel left out in the cold, abandoned, lost, that someone needs to take fiery, passionate action movement forward with truth and clarity, cut away energy no longer serving, open, honest, truthful communications. We had two pages there. And Divine here really trying to take that sword and get mo momentum in this to move it forward. But So let's get uh, the Magician. Yeah, so... <laughs> wow. The magician, so the Queen of Swords is trying to manifest this forward. Wow. Trying to make this new beginning happen. Trying to get this person over here to manifest, to start this new beginning, but they're stuck in the moon and the hangman energy. Wow. So let's see what the possible outcome will be for this. Possible outcome for this connection, Leo. Knight of Cups. Someone coming forward with loving uh, communication of some kind or a loving offer. It's not a king. Ace of Swords. So there's that divine energy here shedding light on this situation. So there's a truthful open communication. Victorious new beginning based on truth and clarity. Open communication, cutting away things not serving. Telling it like it is. Saying, yep, here's my cup of love. Yep. Here I am. <laughs> wow. So let's get one more possible outcome. And the high priestess. So somebody knows this is going to happen. Could be you. Could be your person. Somebody intuitively knows this is going to happen. They know it's coming. 
They're not saying anything. They're keeping quiet. They're letting this person, you know, do whatever they're doing over here, being stuck and in limbo. But they know the universe is going to push this and move this forward eventually. And offer of love is going to come in in some way, shape, or form. And somebody knows. They know. So they're just kind of not saying anything. Keeping quiet. Keeping to themselves. Say, so, yep. Yeah, I know it's coming. It's coming. It's on its way. Victorious new beginning here of love. Truth, clarity will be had. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of cups. So people feeling you, them, bored, melancholy, blah. You know, is the offer going to come in? Should I send the offer? You know, just kind of like, I just don't know. But there's the offer coming in. Divinely guided, brand new beginning. Stable, secure, grounded, could be possibly long term. Abundance, growth, expansion on a firm foundation. Five of swords and the three of swords. Wow. So moving ahead and getting what you want despite all the heartache, pain. You know, someone's been through heartache and pain here, but eventually ready to do what they need to do to get what they want, which I feel is this brand new beginning in love. So now you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So two divinely guided new beginnings in love and stability and abundance moving forward. So there's the brand new beginning in love. A very stable offer coming in, divinely guided. Peace, harmony. So for the signs here, other signs besides Scorpio, I do see, um, let's see here. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, let's see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces. The magician here is, I believe, Gemini and Virgo. Uh, oh my God, I'm a brain fart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, we ba basically have almost all the signs here anyway. But I do see someone finally coming forward with an offer of love. And I think they're going to be divinely guided and pushed in this direction, even though they're resisting it, trying to control the whole situation, how they feel, you know, maybe trying to resist healing or knowing uh, they need to heal this connection by having equal give and take reciprocity. But, and the other person knows it's coming, whether it's you or them, they know they're in the high priestess energy, trust in their gut, their intuition, their high knowing. And the moon can also represent intuition also. And then, you know, the moon, eventually the sun does come out and things become enlightened. So let's get some extra messages with this deck for you, Leo. So I do ask Leo, if you're new, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Or if, or if you want to check out my channel first. And if you like what you see, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And if you do, thank you so much. So Leo, at this time, let's get some extra messages on... Wow. Wow. Our Lady of Passion. So very fiery, passionate connection here could be between two fire signs. Okay. So let's see in nine, which is about dreams, wishes coming true. Um, can also be fulfillment. Our Lady of Truth. Wow. And I just said that through this whole reading, the Ace of Swords, the um, Queen of Swords. Truth. Truth's coming out here. Truth's coming out. Let's see what else here. Our Lady of the Rose Child, 23, which is 5, which is uh, change. So there could be roses involved here. <laughs> so let's see what the Rose Child means. As this deck is a little... Whoop, wrong deck. Wrong book. Number 23, just read a little tiny bit so we get a better understanding. Um, okay, so this is all about uh, beauty, beauty from beauty and strength, encouragement. Something beautiful can come out of something that was very hurtful, as a rose is very beautiful, but it has a lot of thorns, which can cause, you know, injury <laughs> so it's just telling you that you know 
whatever anyone's been through here, whatever thorns they've been through, I'm getting like every rose has its thorn. I'm getting that song. So there's always beauty in something, no matter what you've been through, whatever pain you've been through, whatever hurtful things you've been through. And that's that healing energy here that someone needs to heal. That a beautiful rose based on truth and clarity and passion can arise from this uh, connection. So what do we have at the bottom here? We have Our Lady of Comfort. So 43-7, divinely guided spiritual energy with the seven there. So comforting one another, um, just compassion, um, love, compassion, peace, harmony. You know, being a shoulder to cry on and uh, just listening to one another, getting to know one another and comforting, comforting their heart, comforting your heart having that equal give and take and balance in this connection. Wow, Leo. Okay, so best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.